All right. Are we here? We, we are here. Woo that's Mayor Everyone. hiding behind us. Yes. We have a live, <laughs> we have a live studio audience we today. <laughs> so we have Christine Jordan. You can't pop up, Christine. I can't see. <laughs> She's there. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Mayor and Mindy Berg is upstairs, so she's hiding. Hi. So we hope you guys are having a good Briar Fest. We hope we didn't look too silly. Today at headquarters, we had a blast. It was a lifelong it's dream. So much fun. Um, as you know, for the last two podcasts, Jackie has been absent, so we're going to let uh, her catch you up on yeah. what's going on with her. So uh, here's what's going on with me. Um, you can see I got a little spout on my face. So um, I've been out of work the last five weeks because I broke with shingles a month ago and I have a bacterial infection on my face that has been horrendous. Um, this is also very painful um, and it's only recently I've gotten that treated, so I feel good enough to do this, this is why I was not on the last couple podcasts. Um, so uh, I don't know. I'm on IV antibiotics, it's the bandage, um, and we're doing that at least for another week. <laughs> so she's been, been a in, good time. She's been in a lot of pain and just and, and discussing how dead she is by percentage. So yes. this week we got above fifty percent dead. So no, no, no. We, 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 we okay. want lower percentages of dead. Oh, okay. Like fifty percent is bad. probably about eight or nine percent dead okay okay that's not bad no it's not bad you can handle it okay so i flew in wednesday night mm -hmm. my flight was three hours delayed i was already leaving she's already at, getting in at midnight i was she's already <laughs> leaving mountain time at six o'clock and getting in at midnight and dia which is my airport denver international airport had a power outage and at first they told us <laughs> weather delay <laughs> a weather delay Turned out all of DIA shut down for a couple hours. So finally got on the plane, got here at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Jackie was passed out and I had to wake her up. She was like, I'm fine. I'm, 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 here, I'm here. I'm good. I'm here. I'll, I'll be right there. So uh, got on our way to her house um, and finally settled down to go to sleep at like five o'clock in the morning, got three hours of sleep and pursued panic. On, yes, it was, it's so far it's been pretty briar fest for us like you know getting in late and you know being inappropriate and then crashing and getting up early and then you know running around going I have money in my pocket and I don't know what to do with it and people are selling stuff because you know the buying part of, of briar fest started yesterday. Yeah, Thursday with, was a zoo. Everybody selling stuff. So we were doing the Watusi with everybody mm -hmm. else on Kylie's store. And everybody else's store. <laughs> Jen Buxton and Buxton. Nikki Button and Mel Miller yeah. and Kristen Sermelli. Kristen Sermelli. If we missed you, we're sorry. We were probably doing the Watusi there we too. We were crying probably. Like the first three stores, I completely struck out. I couldn't yeah. do anything. Like they were, yeah. everything was just gone. gone. I, did anybody have a similar experience with with some of the top artists that released their stuff yesterday? Let us know in the comments. Like, yeah. Like what your experience that was with buying Did stuff. you get anything yesterday? Yeah. So then we, and then we was, Um, and we want to congratulate Kylie Parks for the most over the top, <laughs> ridiculous, so extra, extra thing. The I've, Oscar goes to. If I've ever seen for Briar Fest, but I loved every single freaking minute of it. That was a fabulous presentation. Um, I did manage to score a Mushu, which was she like scored me a Mushu. Too. Scored you a Mushu us also, um, and I got because um, she debuted her new real horse, which is a registered Buckskin Shire. And she's got three versions of that in resin. One right. is very limited. I got the one that's got the the barely one that's got less hair on it. I got both. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <laughs> the interesting thing about Kylie debuting Jolie is um, I bought a uh, Uliam from Nikki Button uh, that was a buckskin on that mold. Mm -hmm. And I contacted Leslie Kathman uh, this was a year or so ago, and I said, I don't know what to do with this horse. It's clearly a young draft horse, and I don't know what to do with this cream dilution. And she says, let me tell you about this Buckskin Shire. <laughs> so, and I'm sure now looking at it that that was maybe part of the inspiration for Nikki's paint job. And yeah. so when <laughs> Kylie debuted Jolie last night, I was like, huh, <laughs> how about that? I know that horse. <laughs> I know that horse. So, so yeah, so um, 
So Thursday night, then we had a gathering. Yes, we had a gathering. We had uh, Christine Jordan and Marilyn Zipan and Kelly uh, Weimer and Kelly Carriker. Got it right. Time. Yes. <laughs> so we had sushi and we had a mead tasting and um, there was beer and wine and I had non-alcoholic Chardonnay, which tasted like apple juice, which was depressing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, it's okay. Apple juice bland and i kind of like you know a little more complexity um she actually drinks alcohol for the taste <laughs> i drink wine for the taste i can't drink anything right now because i'm on 47 drugs that i also definitely okay. interact so yeah i also with the, the stuff i'm on i've turned into a gremlin because i also cannot get wet or go out in direct sunlight i probably should she's eat. like a uh what do you I'm call a gremlin, it yeah. you're a gremlin I should probably not eat after midnight too so. i'll call you stripe when you turn okay it's probably <laughs> not, so, not denying that one uh i've got notes here i apologize for keeping yeah. looking down but like today was nerve-wracking um oh we, yes because so today so well let's talk yeah. about shopping first okay. so jackie had to go get drugs this morning for her for her her face i had to get iv antibiotics not go get drugs <laughs> it's it's drugs anyway <laughs> Jordan, Christine Jordan walks in and goes, I've got mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. She's not her she, porcini yeah. tadpole that Kenzie painted. We're like, thanks, Christine. We're like, what? <laughs> um, um, so shopping. So Briar Fest proper story. Right. Today. Right. So I was still asleep. I slept, I slept through Maggie Bennett's sale, which really ticked me off because I wanted a venti um Kaladin. Um, and I slept through the open. I mean the store opening, um, I slept through as well. And I don't, looking at how the Pollux got distributed, I'm wondering if that was first come first serve anyway. Like as soon as, if you got in there early, you got a Pollux. Cause it doesn't- No, 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 no. The Pollux were done. You had to put in preferences for that about a month ago. Right. But it doesn't mean if you showed up early. No, it, no, the, you it get what you get. It's randomly selected. No, it, it, it selects it before you get in there. Like it's already preordained. It's not if you got there first because how they do the selection in part what you put down in the order right. and then they do a draw order too. So it's to, they oh, try okay. to do very similar. Because I thought maybe they would have you have the no, preferences not, and then it would just shoot it to whoever no, that was there first. That's not that no. It, it, it they try to make it very similar to how the real experience okay, is. Okay, cool. So no, that's not nice. Yeah. Um so you went shopping first. Talk about that. I well I tried because like so my infusion takes about two hours. So I get there at like eight o'clock and I was sitting there like watching the thing going, time sticking. I gotta get in the car and buy horses. Let's hurry this up, you know. So I got in the car, got the stuff I wanted in my car, and then could not check out. So I <laughs> drove home, drove home at the red lights hitting the checkout button, so it wouldn't work. Um, and then finally, uh, our Discord came through with like the trick to get actually into yeah, the checkout. The checkout trick. Um, so I checked out, still had my stuff in my cart. Um, then went back and bought all the swag I wanted. And got special ones. And I'm done with Briarfest store shopping. And it was a ton nicer and less frustrating than last year. Like, I thought like oceans. It went really so smooth, much smoother. Really smooth. You know, and and I had no trouble because I came on an hour later, um, and filled up my cart, checked out, no big deal. Yeah, and there's and nothing was sold out yet either. Yeah, and like when we were at HQ, they said they still had plenty of inventory. The only thing I've heard that has sold out has been the team glossy magnets. So the swag I che when I checked earlier just mm -hmm. to do a, a spot check, the yeah. wine glasses and pine glasses were gone. Oh really? Okay. The the pullover hoodie horse of a different color was gone mm -hmm. um but it seemed like everything else was still, still there available. Yeah. i didn't check it all so um, right. i'm you know talking out of my that's good my i got my wine bum glasses. A bit, but got my wine glasses. good for you mm -hmm. -hoo -hoo. um so what's next so what's next so we so we got up and um uh, got dressed and drove to Pequonic um mm -hmm. and started screaming as we drove down industrial Boulevard or whatever it is. Industrial Road. Industrial Road when yeah. the, the fluffy and puffy came into yep. view. Um, we got there, they checked our COVID cards, um, 
Kat came out to greet us, Alyssa came out to greet us, and Jamie came out to greet yeah. us and gave us a, if you've ever been there, you know that there's the cubicle land to the left when you go through the lobby. We got our own little cubicle as a green room. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, they were running a little bit behind. So we went on about 30 minutes later. Mm -hmm. Um, like a little after two. And they were trying to get time back. So, yeah. I, I, you know, they kind of pushed us through really quick. And it went by like that for yeah. me. So I was just like, felt like I looked like Chester Cheetah the whole time. So. She's very smiley. But it was super fun. Um, we felt like we did okay with it. Yeah. If you want to go back and see it because you missed it live, uh, the replay for Friday is available. We are about four hours in because we went in, we all went on just a little after two and it's very quick. So uh, what they asked us, they were coming back tomorrow and what they have asked us to do is to have any feedback or questions you guys have that um, we can answer uh, live tomorrow while about we're us. on air. About yeah, us. Or about, yeah. you know, what what our experience was there or, or you stuff know, like that other whatever questions you so want just drop drop questions in the chat and we'll go through them after we're done with the live feed and then we'll give them to kimber and jamie tomorrow and they can handpick some of the questions yeah. to get right on the air so you might your question might get asked yeah mm -hmm. why not site um so we got done they fed us which was very kind yes. of them um we got done, we came back here and we started prepping for this basically. Um, yep. And then we've got guests back in the house tonight. Uh, my VIP box arrived. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, why don't you do- Do you wanna do my stable mix? Yeah, do your stable mix. So I mean, so, so with the VIP boxes that are going out right now, it's all the, it's just the stuff that all the VIPs get. Right. So it includes- So no surprise for us, no, but she didn't yeah. order one anyway. No, so. no, no special runs basically, but- we do get the celebration horse. There's Danny. Danny, she's so pretty. We saw a glossy one at the warehouse, by the way. Very pretty. <laughs> yes, that's appropriate. <laughs> was it Alyssa's cubicle? Yeah. If anybody uh, wants to break there's it. There's a box of VIP swag, which I, I've seen it open. We haven't opened this, but it's like, open, open it. What's in that? What's in that? What's in there? Oh, oh nice. we got us a tumbler, a visor. Who am I, y'all? Wow. <laughs> We love you, so, Christina. Because Christina was there too. Yes. We got gloves. Uh, some. Oh, that's smart. Some sunscreen. <laughs> ah, some pins. Pins of the four. Um, the four limited edition horses. Oh, that's awesome. Which you can't see. Um, and stickers, and a straw for the glass, and a little pouch. A so, makeup bag. Yeah. Nice. Yes, this is actually this is really good stuff. Like. I am so jealous because I'm sorry, baby. And uh, there's also includes the four, the what we used to be the single day stable mates, but we have the four stable mates. So let's see those bad boys. Let's see those bad boys. Yes, the general admission stable mates. Like I couldn't think of their name. Oh, they look cute, bad. Look at those. <gasps> Aren't they nice? Look. They're very fancy. The first one, which is Dada. You can open two balls. Yeah. You do. I love these bags. These are great. I always love the packaging for the stable mates. Fumble good. fingers. Okay. And then there's a nice little bubble wrap bag. This is the little, this is the Darley Arabian. And a fun color. Wahoo. Oh, I got the purple mystic. Clear. Clear. Sorry. Mystic's the name of one of my horses. Oh. I, don't know why I'm that. I don't know. So here is Dada. Kind of blown I'm out. Getting blown out. Sort of see it. There Dada. you go. There you go. You can see his back. He's nice. Like. There we go. Ah, the little purple fjord. Purple pony. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we we'll talk about power. There, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm going to open Rococo. And you can do Nouveau. Nouveau. This guy's so cute. He's like grimace purple, man. Yeah. If you're going to be purple, you should just go for yeah, it. Yeah, just be. Just do it. She's uh, purple. So this is the little smart chick Lena. 
a least trigger. I love that in a smaller scale. I'm surprised yeah. by how many things I like more in when they're little. Smaller. Yeah. But the traditional ones made me go meh. So here's Rococo. Lovely. Also blown out. I'm pull them back yeah, pull back a little. Mm. He's, he's yeah. a nice. He's a Palomino. Maybe I go closer. Nope. Nope. That now oh, we just oh there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fantastic. Oh my <laughs> this is quality programming. <laughs> For our next step, we do a puppet show. <laughs> I like this. Is I think this one's my favorite that you got. Yeah, this one's really cool. This yeah. one's uh, very uh, kind of uh, impressionist, vanilla sky kind of yeah, Monet I, sort of. I like his colors. He's cool. <laughs> All right. Excellent. That was fun. So unboxing adventure with Jackie and Heather. Yep. I'm going to try and see if we can uh, talk Mindy into doing a show and tell. Yeah. Mindy, <laughs> would you like to join us? Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, Mindy Berg. Woo, the amazing Mindy Berg. Come on, sit down with us. Thank Come, babe. She brought stuff. Hey. How are you Hello doing, there. Mindy? I'm doing good. I'm so excited. Which is a way longer trip than anyone thinks. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got, Mindy? I have a pony. Oh, good. Yep. So this is um, Alfwin. This is Kylie Parks's wonderful little pony. <laughs> I also so nice. brought. I'm gonna put that right there. Maggie Bennett's oh. brand new. Oh. Pigeon. Okay. The candles. That's all there. <laughs> <Like, laughs> I'm gonna hold them back up. Yes. Fidgets. Fidgets. I love this scale. I think this is my favorite scale. It is. Yeah. And Paladin. And they can play together. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going to do later, is we're going to play with all the horses. Yes. <laughs> so that's what I brought today. Nice. So what's mm -hmm. still available, and what is, what's the status of this pin? Oh, I have Elf One is still available. She's up for offers till Sunday. Okay. And Kaladin is done on one side. With the other. <laughs> so when he will be up for offers as well as Fidget. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's so good so to we're going to see you tomorrow on the live stream, yeah? Yes. I know. It's going to be a lot Exciting. of fun. I'm going to be painting some ponies and we'll see how far I can get with them. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll see you there for sure. Thank you. I know. I'm so yeah. excited. It's like Briar Fest is kind of. I know. In it, it feels reality. like Briar Fest this year to me. I know. Even we're actually able to have people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so like, like having really artists good. in your basement. Yes, yeah, so like, <laughs> I'm surrounded by all of these ponies. I wish you guys could see it. This is an impressive collection. Thank you. I'm a little jealous. Like this, <laughs> it's gorgeous. You guys. She's gonna lock you in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can play with them all. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. It's like Briar Fest again, and <laughs> next year we can do all of this in person. I can't wait. Yeah, me I can't either. wait. I can't wait to see all of you. It's really you guys make this so much more fun. Oh, absolutely. So next year I hope we will be back in Kentucky and to meet in person. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I feel like Wayne and Garth. We're not worthy. We're, we're not, not worthy. worthy. We're in our basement with Mindy Berg. <laughs> Hold it together. I know. Okay, let me check my notes again. We have because, fun. We have you know, fun. we're out of control. And we're going to give stuff away. Okay, okay. we did. Yeah, we're going to do yeah. a giveaway. Um, Briar HQ, we talked about. Mm -hmm. We talked about seeing the Kells. The Kells. What did you guys? I was any great? Like every hour they Let would us talk about, about that stuff. And Christina. Yep. Christina's trying to finish that horse by tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, Go girl. Okay, so we're gonna talk now about 
the swag we're going to be putting in the store and we're mm -hmm. giving we're giving two things away tonight we're giving one uh, set of swag to one of our patrons and we're giving away here i'll take that get it yep giving away chocolatey to one of our regular listeners yeah there you go isn't he nice? And he's beautiful. We saw his video today and he was lovely. Yes, we liked him a lot. Um, for our Patreons, we got uh, the new tote bag, which will be in the store at some point in the near future. Yep. This we, is our new pink on pink designs. So I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, we will have one of, one of those shirts as well. on a much smaller shirt. <laughs> Are we frozen? Yeah, there we there go. We're fine. Go. You're fine. Um, we also have the new diversity tea. Yeah, the diversity tea. Yes. Yay! Isn't that cool? That I love great. it. Um, and we have our usual assortment of buttons. Her nerd buttons. There's a black. Our regular buttons. Our stickers, the, the, the logo and the diversity sticker. The rainbow sticker. And then the brand new stuff no one's got. The mares in black magnet. I have one right there. It sticks <laughs> really good. It sticks really good. Um, we also have the mares in black, the keychain, the acrylic pin, and it's the logo. You can't see because the light is blown it out. They've also, they've got a little bit of plastic yeah. So and finally, fine. the Mayor's Black Mask. Just in time for the end of the pandemic. It's not over yet because <laughs> Delta is on the rise. You still want to be wearing these. <laughs> so Tara uh, Rich made these for us and they're really good. Yeah, they're very comfortable. And they're stylish. So and yeah. you talk about your favorite podcast, people are like, what's with Matt? So mm. this set of swag is going to go to one of our patrons. Chocolatey is going to go to one of our regular listeners tonight. I'm going to ask um, everybody who's interested just to comment me, and then Josh is going to pick a number mm -hmm. and count down the comment list and pick somebody. Yep, yeah, it'll be a basically a random draw, but now. So just say me, 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 me. So go say me, me, me while we uh, entertain the crowd. And while you're saying me, Christine Jordan's going to come share some stuff. Excellent. Yay! Woo! Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, so when she said that I brought yeah. mushrooms, I brought these mushroom mushrooms. ponies. <laughs> it's, it's pony mushrooms because pony. I don't eat real mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are these are not Briarfest purchases. These are things that I've already had. I painted one, and Kenzie Williamson painted the other. Let's talk um, about them. Let's talk about you. You you had you did Elton, yes. So yeah, Elton is the one I painted for Namo Pamo. That's the National Model Painting Month. So if you haven't heard of it, now you have um it was a lot of fun it was a color i've never done before i've never done a traditional resin before it was really exciting i had help from a lot of people including uh shauna mcdaniel was like my canadian cheering squad oh nice um she basically like forced me to paint every day <laughs> good well that's what you gotta do is paint every day so it was it was fun and um then uh kenzie had the uh tadpole and that was her for now Pamela as well and she picked the color after I said I was going to pick the color and it ended up working out that we kind of encouraged each other to keep going with the mushroom theme and she did such a nice job on him I'm like yeah, yeah if you sell it it has to be mine and I won so she got two mushroom ponies so I have mushroom mushroom <laughs> and so they're Percini and what's this one what's it? Uh, this is Serpentius and so he has a badger face so he is actually the original Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, <laughs> snake, it's a snake. Yeah, so if you're too young to have heard of the badger song, um, we're sorry. I'm old, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> so Christine, Mindy says her elephant wants a date. <gasps> elephant does yes. want a date. Listen, they, look, they kiss. <laughs> we're all just giant children here, right? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> This is exactly what goes on in our room at Briarfest. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, those are my show and tell projects: ponies, mushroom ponies, and um, 
I'll say I've been having great Briar Fest otherwise. I've spent Excellent. a lot of money and you know. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh I have gotten I got a Mel Miller piece. So oh, I got the nice. little uh Maxi Cobb that she had. I okay. got three resins from Kylie. I got one of the I got one of the rare ones, the abundantly jo- Jolie. Nice. And I'm really excited about that. Excellent. Uh, and a Mushu and a Truly Jolie. And I spent money on Kelly Seely because I collect Icarus like they're candy. Um, <laughs> How many are you up to now? 12. Mm-hmm. That's nice. a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> and I got one of her little Thistle, the Thistle Dew color prints, which I'm really oh, excited sweet. about because yeah. they're really cool. They are really cool. But um, I think I got one. And I got Tegan's Quagga, her Rao Quagga. Oh, sweet. On the micro. Okay, so, excellent. I don't remember what else I got. I might do this. Nice. And briar stuff today. All my briars. Yeah. Thank God I'm done with the briar stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's nice to get the briar stuff out of the way because now I can, do feel like I can kind of go and do things. Yeah. yeah. I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to just be like, I know I can watch things. Yes. Now I don't have to panic. <laughs> well, thank so, you for joining us. Christine. Thank you. Oh, sign us. <laughs> I'll say I'm gonna collect ponies. Oh, yeah, grab your ponies. Ponies and run. <laughs> we got the ponies <laughs> and run. Woo! Run, run, run! Yay! Yay! Thanks, Christine. No, I have all the good. All right. Okay. See, Josh. We got all our me's. We have a lot of me's. Josh, can you type whoever you pick in the chat, please? In our Zoom chat. Do, do, do. Pick two people, by the way. Actually, no, don't. Just pick yeah, one. just pick one. Five minutes behind, but I love it. <laughs> Let me ping him. Yeah, he's all right. So I'll just entertain the crowd while we're. Yeah, just... Josh, Josh is the man behind the scenes, um, and uh, he's gonna be picking our person. So nice. This will be. He the... says, "Counting, be patient." Wow. He knows better than that with me. Wow. Like we're gonna be patient. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go to our Patreon okay. and pick our Patreon winner. Excellent. You do that. I'm gonna go check in on our thing here. Uh, don't forget we're still collecting like comments and questions and whatnot for our I tomorrow so any questions you guys got send them our way we might answer them live on the air okay Woo-hoo. what do you see still counting he's still counting well that's good i've got it so uh for the chocolatey goes to jennifer arswega Woo! congratulations Jennifer, if you can uh, message us with your address, we will get that shipped out next that week. That chocolatey goes right to you because Jackie's yeah. way better about shipping than I am. That's why I'm the fulfillment <laughs> enforcer. Um, and our Patreon winner is Christian Beverly. Woo! All right, so we'll get those sent out. I should have Christian's at address anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay. Excellent. So we've done the swag. We've done the giveaway. We've done the Kells and Christina. What questions do you guys have for us? Do you got what kind of feedback do you guys have that you want us to take to Briar? Uh, what questions would you like to hear read right on the air tomorrow? Yeah. We'll kind of take those. If you guys are watching this on delay, we'll take those in a message too. Yeah, you can also send them to info at mirrorsandblack.com. We're taking them on the Discord if you're a patron, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they're all congratulating each other. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, the humidity is rough, Candace. Like, yeah. I, I got here at, like I said, I got here at three in the morning Eastern time, and I pinged her, got her up to come get me, walked out the double doors at Newark, and was like immediately texted her. I was like, ugh, humidity. To be fair, that's always the the, the experience walking out of the double doors at Newark. Some, I'm of just, that's, I'm Denver, some of that's just newer. Denver has ruined me because no. it's just, you know, Josh gets upset when there's like 30 or 40 percent humidity and I'm just like, oh man. How do you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. 
Uh, but yeah, it is kind of Kentucky weather, at least. Um, Are you on the Facebook or the YouTube? I'm on the Facebook because okay. the YouTube, I didn't see anything going on. Okay. Nobody's watching us on YouTube, Lee. I mean, I'll try again, but. No, no, no. You okay. don't have to look. Okay. Where is the Premier Club headed next year? Hints on Breeds, Artists. They won't tell Ooh, you that. Yeah, they but won't. We can us. try. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. Uh, it'd be cool. It's a be dry heat, Sandra said. <laughs> Sandra Gibson. It's not a dry heat. Go no. back to Canada. <laughs> uh, it'd be cool if they could discuss how they research design themes and SRs for the events like Friar Fest. What's their process time? That is a good question. That is a good question, yeah. Miranda. Did you try? So Carrie Sloan Meyer wants to know if we tried to liberate anything from the. We did, but they were watching. Like they were right there. The Kellys were there. Cat so was there. If anybody was going to get out with anything, it was going to be yeah. the Kellys. They've had all day in there. Yeah. What did you guys think? Of Let us know. I don't know why. It's not for our fest unless you're in your personal sauna all day. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Uh, see, Tracy Martin Reynolds, I love the way the SR and LE wines were handled this year. Will Briar be doing the same going forward at live at KHP or not? That's a good question. That is a good question. We do know that there, and you guys probably know this too, there will be a virtual component next year mm -hmm. um, because uh, the feedback from the international community and people that can't travel uh, for whatever reason and, and the, the benefits that they've gotten from having uh briar fest online has been proven the last two years oh, yeah. so there's a lot more people have been able to access it that never could have before so oh uh, let me see can they offer the pre-order glossies next year even if they go back to live briar fest maybe that was a surprise this morning was the pre-order glossies yeah Prices. I, like they're holding a lot back this year a lot more than they did last year yeah so they, let us know about we that still don't know about uh, the auction john situation that, yes, they are we very tight-lipped about that we could not get that out of anybody we asked cat we asked jamie we asked jocelyn i don't think we asked Alyssa. kaleo wasn't there to shake down but she wouldn't have told us either so <laughs> to shake down <laughs> Uh, we would drag Mayor on camera, but she won't come. So, <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't bring anything. So <laughs> you can dig out some of your pads, Mayor. Uh, another question they probably don't want to answer this is from Elaine Lindelof is how shipping and logistical delays have impacted them this year. Although I do think that would be an interesting well, thing to talk about. Well, eh, I mean, I understand what, thing, but that's what impacted yeah, the first yeah. Premier Club Force um, uh, Fireheart. Yeah. Clearly, yeah, so. absolutely. What happens when you get stuck in the canal for months? Uh, let me see what else we've got. And feel I would love if you would let them know the experience this year is amazing and simple. Last year I missed out everything live. I could never find it. This is relaxing, simple, amazing. Has been such a fun day. Agree. One hundred fifty percent. I mean, I I felt like I was. We were kind of half in and out because we were yeah. actually there and. It, that, that's an interesting thing to point out. It's like, it's, we did talk to Stephanie for a minute and they had a server mm -hmm. room where they could see traffic and you know it really spiked up right at the beginning. Um, and because of the way they handled stuff, there was no need to crash the gate for most right. things. So, because this was like quantities of stuff were also dug right, and like an hour later, year. I could move around uh, the re website with very little issue. So. Uh, it was confirmed they're going to try for in person next year. Yeah, they're kind of talking. They're they're talking like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always possible something can happen, but they're they're definitely talking like that. It's going to be on the ground next year. I get, yeah, and I think that um, because they are going to keep with part of the online component, that's obviously going to be a fallback. They're not going to put the, all their you know eggs in one basket. I don't think anybody is at this point. It's too early. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So they seem very upbeat. Things seem a lot smoother, going smoother. I, did the live feed go out at one point today? Yes, it did. Yeah, our Discord confirmed that. They went out towards the end. Um, I love how they're using more hobby people. Yes, I think the, uh, and we're not, uh, not just us because we were there for five minutes yeah. compared to everybody else, but I think um, the hobby people, both uh, participating as artists, helping to design, actually being on the actual Briarfest staff has obviously aligned them better with with um, our wants and and what inspires us and what we like to see from the line, having hobby artists ever actually make, help make the line has been a huge success with really great molds to um, not replace, but kind of update. 
people from the 60s and 70s. So that's great feedback. Oh, do, 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 do. Let me see. Are they going to continue? No. What do so we you... need questions for us? Yeah. Too, because a what lot do... of these we can't. We're going to be on camera. And... We have one for us. What do you make this from uh, Miranda Coons? What do you What do you mayors think the theme will be next year? Or what do you want? We've definitely talked about what we wanted. Well, I wanted the Celtic fling, and that I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we talked about Octoberfest. Octoberfest. What do you guys think of that? Oh, bah, big oh, bah, oh, big bah, draft bah, bah. horses. You run around in later hosing. And drink be a beer. beer truck. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, for theme, yeah, Oktoberfest would be great. I would love to see um, some sort of. Uh, I don't know if they've done a fantasy theme before. I would love to see. Oh, like a full on fantasy. A full on theme fantasy good. theme would be great. Um. What do we think about at the? for this year i am surprised yeah that, that that was a quick shrink boy yeah i mean i you know i think i was expecting something new and we would see surely see mm. fireheart later down in the line so for it to come out the same year that it's released was um was surprising um i'm happy for raven raven um and she seems thrilled i saw her uh, like go live as soon as she yep. saw it come on like, ah! so <laughs> What was the coolest thing we saw at headquarters today? Uh... We saw, okay, so we saw, um, and we know the Kellys have copies of these. We saw the the um, the classic sized fighting stallions, the yeah. rearing stallions that are uh, bandana patterned and filled with resin because they were decorator. Well, they were kind of like meant for like a home decoration line. Right, like, and they're super that heavy. Didn't, yeah, that, that but, didn't go anywhere. Um, that was right by our cubicle, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a tidy bowl blue sham Egyptian horse. Yeah, that was a special run. Well, it was a it was tan in like a, a terracotta color in the special run that it occurred on. But this was like a test color for that. Right, boy, and I'll tell you if they had done that one, if they'd done the blue one, I would have one. Yeah, <laughs> that was it was it was blue. Mm. Um, and we saw. We saw the, I mean, I, we just got a second in the archive room and I, my eyes got big oh, as saucers yeah. and was looking around, but we went and visited the Kellys before we left and they had all the, all the decorators. Yeah, like the old table. world the decorators. Old original decorators. So that was interesting. Oh, literary horses. There you go. Oh, that would be, That's a great that would be really great. That, the copyright issues though. I don't know about that. Well, it depends on like when it's out of copyright. When it's at, the red pony. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person. No, that's <laughs> bad, Jackie. <laughs> okay, we'll go through questions and kind of review yeah, stuff for tonight, too. Yeah, give us more questions too. for us, because we, we, we were kind of on a double double forked mission. We're going to mm -hmm. give raw your feedback from you guys um, as our viewers, our fans, uh, and they're also going to ask us questions that you feel to us from this on the Discord. You can send it in our email. You can PM it to us on yeah. um Facebook or Instagram. Um, we're going to sign off. We yeah. want to say a special thank you to Vincent Longa for his story today on Instagram, which we've, we've saved on a highlight like five times in a row and saved it like on um, as a highlight. So I encourage you all to go to our Instagram at Mayors in Black and, yes. and look at we the, shared it on the, a story. The story Vincent had for us today because it's hilarious. Like, like Vincent, what we want you to do is to is to record that how you said mares in black so we can use it as a bumper on the episode. And <laughs> we'll get Vincent He's gonna talk to us about flight. So yeah. um uh what else was i gonna say oh come back tomorrow night we're back on at seven we'll do another set of giveaways we have a lot of swag to give away mm -hmm. um sunday night we will be giving away anfield's doll yeah um if you want to see some of the swag it's up on uh mayors and black facebook uh so that is going to be for our general listeners it's a really great hoodie rider doll oh yeah um and then we have the stable mate arabian breast collar that's for our patrons um, by Anna Helt. It's it's uh, it's, it's cream stable made and size and it's gold. gorgeous. It's mm. and, and there's all sorts of other yeah. stuff. We have um more we have this, yeah we have more t-shirts and swag. We have the 70th anniversary uh, Mustang. We have a micro mini Martin. Yep. Um and lots more. So we are gonna sign off and go hang out with our friends and we will see you tomorrow night. Well we'll see you tomorrow day on the show. Yeah. And then we'll we'll be back on
Thank you so much. Love you guys.